and we can just see Hayden is having just far superior straight line speed. So maybe a different setup going on for him. Has Sandy Beck overtake Smalley and Hayden Gillis tries to take Smalley around the outside. Doesn't really work. But we can just see again. Hayden Gillis with the far superior straight line speed. And there's nothing s can do right now but to sit back in the second sector as Weasley. In something the second sector as Weasley. Something happened to Weasel, I think. Uh, no, it's Bricker who spun it on the softs that promotes Weasel to P10 in this race. So that's perfect for him. It's what he needs. He's got McNeish behind on the mediums. But he's, he's currently the leader uh, straight. Getting the DRS, getting the DRS. Hayden going to the inside, trying to defend this move. What is he, what's he going to do? As he thinks better of to try and go for a move. But that's Hayden Gillis now in P6. That's good. That's what he needs. But only 2.5 seconds away from Martin. So all to play for the good ABD. Oh, Sandy Baggy spun it. Oh, that's a reset to track as well. But that's heartbreak for Martin. He was in such a good position. Oh, he just lost it on the exit. Oh, that's a reset to track as well. But that's heartbreak for Martin. He was in such a good position. Oh, he just lost it on the exit. Oh, he was right on the back of Davy Lee as well. As we see a move by F Saint again, trying it around the outside of Hayden. Lades are on the brakes, but he's hit the grass again. It's going to be a repeat of last time, I think. As maybe not getting as better exits as he did last time, but he's going to have the RS, he's going to have the DRS, he's going to go for the moves. Hayden defends the inside again. This should be an easy move for him. Side three, set of corners. This is good battling. As, yeah, Hayden pushes him out, and that should be the end of it for F Saint, unless he tries to go to the inside. Almost runs into the back of Hayden. That's dangerous. TJD behind as well. It's, oh, yes. It's helping Wee's Alex Albon. He's actually catching their pack, so he could be looking at P6 once they go. And there's nothing he can really defend with right now. But there is still the back straight. Hayden Gillis will get the RS down off the Santa Asses. But Hayden Gillis seems to struggle a bit on traction. Now, may have got too close for Aspen to make a move now. But now, he has, got to, has to set up. Yeah, we've got Sandy Baggy going around the outside. He's going to get the move done, I think. Yeah, he's got it done. Far better exit than Philo Katis. Saying that right, line speed to overtake. I think he will get it this one. He's going, goes to the inside. DM guy defending to the outside. That's P2 for market. The DM guy maybe trying to look for this switch back, but he is going to have the uh, slipstream coming in thing and the DRS. But yeah, that's going to be market's position. The DM guy's a bit far back for that. Yeah. Uh, another move, Smalley on the outside of Hayden Gullis at the Gullis. apex. Oh, and a Smalley one, loses one. it. Oh, and he's out. Is he out? Somehow he's kept his car in. That's promoting Weasel to P7. That's perfect for him. He needs this in this race. Sandy Baggy back to the end. Well. As 256 gets now a three second time penalty and no razor collisions are not off. That was just collisions. Uh, just a ghost in car because, yeah, a ghost in car. Um, so, of course, uh, collisions for ghosted cars will be off. Collisions for the closest battles Hayden Gullis versus F Saint, but don't think we're going to see any action just yet. But uh, yeah, looking back to the lead, Jim Wong, 1.8 second gap. To yeah, I think I think we should be seeing. Oh yes, it's a move by Ricker around the outside of Philoctosis. Uh, As he's, I think Philoctosis is completely out of that one. Yeah, Ricker, has got that move. Easy album, of course. Runs a different strategy, and maybe doesn't have to pick because there is still rain predicted for the mm. race. One. So we'll have to see how that plays out. The other thing for Weasel is, he's going to be in prime position if there's a safety car in this race, because I'm sure he'll be leading, because he's the leading medium runner. Got a pretty hefty gap to TJD. The ERS 37 above 40 now. So you will have the ERS advantage, and we'll, we'll have 150 brake horsepowers more to deploy. Oh, but that doesn't matter anymore. Yes, you, you, you wanted to say it right. Martin is now pitting. <laughs> so Martin trying to undercut the M guy, and you cannot, you cannot stress enough. How important the undercut and how powerful the undercut is around Brazil. Yeah, it's, so he's uh, going to be in this lead of this race. I can't stress how much it's going to help him if there's a safety car in this race. Yeah, that, that is true indeed. Um, something, indeed. That, um, something that might also be true. We still have to see the race engineer of Martin and Hagen Gillis, the, the race engineer of the Red Bulls, did say that Jim Wong might qu quite possibly have wing damage because he might be Weasley, who is now in P2. Uh, Jim Wong Jim pitting, as fan pitting as well. Jim Wong's on the new soft. In 30 minutes. So, if Jim Wong has timed this per perfectly and it starts to rain just when his soft tires fall off, he might just be the best strategist 
on the plan he will just have to pit again and that might promote them Weasley or even Davy Lee to a race win so yes Tyke Robert says as well uh, he's got the DRS he's got the slipstream he's got the ERS this should be an easy move as he's getting closer and closer to the rear he's gonna go down the inside and yeah, it's, it's it's a good move. Isn't get, he's not getting the exits to try and fight back with these people. This is his main issue. But he's also on 16 lap old softs, which is not going to help him on the exit. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, the back <laughs> four, but Hengelus covers it up. Fox has got just on the right spot off the track, so Asfeng cannot go for the launch into turn four. Turn four. And that uh, is Hayden Bullis keeping P6 just for now, but Asfeng will surely have a next shot on the next lap. And now here it comes, Jim Wong, four tenths behind with Alex Albon. Also got Kevin as a ghost, I think trying to support his teammate. Maybe put off Jim Wong as they now side by side. Jim Wong going on the outside as he sets the fastest lap. Weasel looking to get the better exit out of this corner. He's right onto the back yeah. of Jim Wong. Oh well, we've got used to it at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, Hayden Gullis on the back of F. Same Wee. That's going to be an interesting battle. And we will surely be interested to see what tie he will pit on. But now Hayden Gillis will try to overtake Esfane. He has two. He's just going to have to settle down, uh, put his head down, keep pushing as Ferrari always say. <laughs> and um, yeah, just get, uh, just try and recover from this. Well, I think it's got to be a strategy error uh, on his side. But uh, yeah, he puts it in, doesn't even use it as Martin does not even defend it. Martin will just try and get a good exit out of the center asses so he can may re-overtake down the long oh, gear of Sandy Baggy. So that is that Weasley overtaking Sandy Baggy on those new hard tires. And that is Weasel then into eighth the position. Point. position. Hayden Gillis trying to re-overtake Esfain. So Hayden, the battle between Hayden Gillis and Esfain, just the story of the race so far. Well, Alex is Albon with a pretty nice move. Uh, yeah, he should keep that one, I think. Is Well, Weasel's on the brand new tyres, 16 lap old mediums for TJD, so I don't think there's going to be much contest. He almost runs into the back. As soon as possible, Hengel places beautifully, parks it right down in the middle of the track, leaves FSA no room to go for any move down in P turn four. And that is now Hengel back into P5. Same Once again, though, going a bit wide through turn three. Doesn't get the run he really needs. And I don't think he will send down, yeah, down the inside into turn four. Really make this race a lot more interesting. We should see Jim Wong straight into the pits. He's not gone past his pit box. So yeah, that's him in already. Uh, we'll be we can now see what he is doing. Is he coming in? Is he saying, oh, he's coming in? He has yeah, to take all it. of the chances he can. We have seen what happens. Uh, we have seen what really happens. He is the most brilliant person in the world and I will marry him. TJ if it is not, DJD's also on the inters. These guys are trying to spread out. So David Lee might have enough time to wait for the for the wet race. And those first drops of rain are starting to settle in. I cannot believe this. David I Lee cannot has believe this. Perfect. Everything right for strategy and safety cars is maybe gonna be the downfall for him. Because now all of the people going onto the inter tires, it's going to be wet the this race. Still dry. The track is still dry. Uh, the intermediates will have no grip whatsoever. Oh, Jim almost loses it. I'm just watching on board with him, the snap of oversteer. To, of understeer, as he tries to warm up his tires. So, that will be, then be, I think, be, as a safety guard, probably will come in this... I believe it as late as possible, so that they cannot catch him. And he goes, that's a good restart from him. Distancing himself from the two Red Bulls. And Jim Wong under pressure from f -Sane already. So I don't think it's going to be, but Weasel past Davy Lee. Yeah, down the inside. Davy Lee trying to hang it on the outside, but those Inters aren't going to be working yet. He's going to really struggle. This might be his championship gone. He just needs to pray that God starts making it rain. Yeah, the M guy tries to push it as hard as he can. Gets an off through second time penalty. So he will be out of the question. For the race, Jim Wong can overtake Hagen Gillis or Martin. As it seems he can, then it might be looking oh, it's good. Davey Lee's round. He spun it. Don't Back tell me. The championship. And he's oh, he just gets tapped again. What could have been genius from Davy Lee? Because the inters looked like they were just beginning to work. He's oh, he spun it. 
if this could not get any more exciting as now we've got Hayden Gullis going down the inside of Jim Wong as it's now raining in more of the podium Wong. positions Weasel on the back of F-Sane F-Sane on the back of Hayden Hayden on the back of Jim Wong this is going to be absolutely insane as Hayden Gullis will he send it down the inside of the championship rival he's got nothing to lose in this he doesn't he thinks better of it but gets a wide exit that's round the outside of F-Sane he needs to dive this on Hayden he needs to get a move on because he needs that P1 slot to just just provide him that position in the championship. Hayden is already two seconds adrift from Jim Wong, so Weasley has to overtake Jim Wong, uh, Hayden Gillis now as soon as possible. DRS, meanwhile, was turned on by race control, so the track is not deemed too wet at in this any point. shape for well, these conditions. Another move could end badly. Jim Wong going down the inside of Mark, and this could end badly because this is for the constructors. Mark, and he's, he's played it clean, he's played it clean, but he will need to overtake Jim if he wants this constructor. So if they, if the rain does start to come down more, he's in a perfect position to win. Oh, yeah, no, so, yeah. it's, uh, so Sandy Baggy has reverted now. He is on the soft tires, thinking that he can just get um, into turn four. Sets up Mark as best as he can. Really <laughs> smelts the gearbox of Mark, overtakes him already, even before the DRS line and may even get Jim Wong into turn four. This could end badly. Weasel knows, just to remind you, that Jim Wong does not finish this race. He, he's not going. I, I'm he's not off saying... right on the back of Jim Wong. He's almost got him on the exit. That rain's coming down. Anything could happen with two laps left to go in this race. Jim Wong now, he's got a worse exit. That's, he's in position because he's got the three seconds. Now Jim Wong, all he needs to do is end this race. He shouldn't fight this too hard as Weasel go past Jim Wong. It's a valiant effort. Oh my goodness, as Hayden Gullis and F. Sane also fighting. Yeah, I think F. Sane going around the outside of Hayden Gullis. Hayden Gullis taps him quite slowly and that's, yeah, they make contact. Do hang behind to win this race, but Jim Wong is in the position to win the championship. As he's, oh my goodness, Weasel right behind the guy. Will he go for the move? Will he want it, win it on Weasley track? has to hold now for a spinning miracle on Jim Wong. Or can the guy even play, <laughs> play the checker for Weasley and push Jim Wong yeah. off? <laughs> Wins in Brazil, but it won't be enough as that is done in P2. Jim Wong, your new Tier 3 champion. His season has been absolutely amazing. So is Weasel to fight back to win from P14 on the grid. What a race we've had, and poor Davy Lee. We'll go into the cooling off Piet Road after this race. But what a race that was, and what a final that was. It can't get any closer than the title this out of He's been absolutely amazing this season. And, you know, he's been leading the whole race today, and he's come out second, but it's been enough. It's another podium for him, and he will take the most podiums of the season.